was a gymnastics unit, I think, and they had to learn so much for that. And I was so shocked because that was just not a thing in the United States. We and welcome back to a new video. My name is Montana. I love learning German and lived in Germany for a little bit with the CBYX program. Today I'm going to be talking about the differences between high school gym class in Germany versus in the United States. I like to preface these videos saying that it is only my experience so I can't talk about all of the experiences um, in Germany versus in the United States. I know that many high schools in the United States are very different from one another. Many high schools in Germany are very different from one another, but this is just what I noticed. I went to a gymnasium, which if you don't really know how German high schools work, that is a big process. So maybe click on another video if you're interested in that. Um, but they're basically like divided into different schools based on whether or not a student is trying to go to university or study after or if they want to go into like a trade job or etc. Gymnasiums are like the highest level of a German high school though and honestly they're really similar to getting like an associate's degree in the United States but a gymnasium in my opinion is like the most kind of equivalent to an American high school and that's where I attended in Passau which is in Bavaria. Back onto my topic of particularly gym class, I thought it was really interesting that I had to take gym class because in the United States a lot of times once you pass like the second year of high school so sophomore year you don't have to take gym anymore it really depends on like your state and what high school but for at least in Virginia that's oftentimes the case I didn't take a uh, gym in high school for a while and even when I did take gym class I took my first two years so freshman and sophomore year online and I know you're probably thinking like what is online gym basically what that means is you have to do the online health portions on your own time you have these like online simulations and then for the actual sport physical part you have to get people to sign off saying that you go to the gym or that you participate in a sport and so on and you have to get a certain number of hours it sounds like a lot but it allows for more flexibility because you can do it all on your own time in Germany that was not a thing at least where I was there was no online gym and instead you had to participate in gym class once a week first big difference that I have though is that my gym class was all girls so I found that much much, much better. I actually looked forward to going to gym class and I loved the gym period time because we did fun things and I think a lot of the kind of anxiety and hate for gym class in the United States is that you've got girls and guys and it's very like this competitive atmosphere and just not that fun because everybody is so sweaty and gross and I don't know you feel insecure that people are looking at you and I hated middle school gym because of all of those reasons and that's why I chose to do online gym in high school. <laughs> Germany I didn't have any of those problems really because it was all girls and we were all there to have a good time and also there because we had to be there. Um, <laughs> other than it being all girls the actual things that we did in gym class were really different than in the United States. I feel like in the US from what I've heard from my friends who did take gym at school and from the gym classes that I took in eighth grade, we do a lot of running, there's a lot of games, we'll have different units where it's like, okay, we're gonna play volleyball or we're gonna do a basketball unit and we're gonna run first and things like that. But the activities that we did at my German high school were so funny. We did like these step classes where you have these boxes that you can step up onto and then our gym teacher would like instruct us and be like, okay, left, right, spin, left, right. I don't know. It's hard to show you guys. Maybe I can find a picture of it. Um, so that was something we did. We also did some dances. We did a big volleyball unit. So we did play actual sports as well. Um, what else was there? There were so many fun activities and there was a lot of choice for one whole unit. It was like choose an activity that you want to do and dive into and learn. And I think we chose dance? I don't know what I chose, but <laughs> it was so cool. Oh, jump roping was another thing, like learning jump rope routines. Never seen anything like that in the United States. And also I think it was because my gym class was much smaller in Germany. There were maybe 30 girls 
maybe I'm not really sure but gym classes in the United States we've got those huge gyms and there's a bunch of classes at one time so it'll be at least like three classes of 30 kids all in the gym together but not necessarily always doing the same thing if that makes sense one thing that was really really shocking and crazy though was that gym class and health class they just call it like sport so sport class in Germany you have to actually learn a lot for the health portion and for the exams and writing the tests they are very very intense when you have health class in the United States most of the time it is very much common sense questions will just make a lot of sense and they're not that hard i feel like sometimes we would have units in health where we had to memorize certain bodily functions or certain phrases like not push and pull but see i don't even remember any of them but i'm telling you when there was like a volleyball unit they would get I say they because i did not write any of the exams or tests for gym um but they would get these packets and it would be all these in-depth definitions of like the muscles and the body parts and how what actions and emotions you need to do when you're playing just volleyball or whatever unit we were on um there was a gymnastics unit i think and they had to learn so much for that and i was so shocked because that was just not a thing in the united states we, we did not have to learn all of that and honestly health and gym were always kind of like a joke class but if i actually had to write those exams in german i think i would have failed or i would have had to just study for a really really long time my german gym class we also played a lot of games which were fun i was sad that we never got to learn handball because i really wanted to learn handball that's not something big in the united states but it's a very big sport in europe I never got a chance to learn it, but I think that was an upcoming unit that I would have attended had COVID not sent us home. We played a lot of really fun games. I asked this in another video, so I need to go back and find that one because I forgot the name again. But we, I remember we played this one really cool game, kind of like dodgeball in a way, but there were like three cones and something about if you hit someone then they were out, but they could get back in the game. Another big difference between German and American gym classes or at least between my two experiences in Richmond, Virginia, and in Passau, Germany, was that in Richmond, we had to wear uniforms, and they were so ugly. Like, the, I'm, oh, oh, all those American movies where you see kids in gym class all gross in those ugly red shorts and, like, big gray t-shirts, those are what we had to wear, and it was so bad. I hated uniforms because I was just also so awkward and I looked so ugly in them and that was honestly one of the biggest reasons why I hated gym class. So it was really nice in Germany. We didn't have to wear those. We would just wear leggings and like a workout tank top or a workout shirt. Our gym was always really, really cold. I'm not sure why. Also, our gym class in the United States was kind of divided into weeks. So we would have it every other day and it would be like two weeks sport gym in the gym doing sport and then the other two weeks would be in classroom where we would do health versus when I was at my gymnasium in Germany I just had the actual sport class once a week there was an option for my gymnasium if you wanted to kind of track more into the sport path like maybe you wanted to eventually become a gym teacher you could take this like advanced sport class and that one was co-ed so it wasn't just girls but i think there were only maybe two or three girls in it because just not a girl not a lot of girls chose to go down that career path one last thing that i wanted to say is that in the united states our gym classes are not it's hard to say in the united states because i don't know how it is for other states but at least in virginia where i was our learning to drive process was through the gym and health classes so in your health class you would learn the they call it the driver's ed part and that is where you learn like how to drive rules of the road safety safety signs all of that and then you could choose to pay and take the behind the wheel courses with our 
school teachers um and in germany that wasn't the case because in germany people don't drive until 18 and by then they're pretty much like graduating those are the differences for gym class in germany versus the united states i think you guys can tell that my opinion is that german gym class is much much better but they are both very different and <laughs> hopefully you've learned something from this video if you guys have any questions or comments please let me know down below also please let me know below if you liked gym class or not in general i just never liked gym class but i know some people really loved it thank you guys so much for watching bleib gesund bis nächstes mal und tschüss